Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for telling my sister her life choices aren't our parents' responsibility? I'm 42M and I've got a younger sister, Sarah, 33F. Our parents, while comfortable, were never rolling in money. Growing up, our dad ran his own small business and our mom was an office manager. We had a good life, but it's not like we were swimming in cash. They made it clear early on that they'd pay for our education, college and grad school if we wanted it, but only if we used it for school. They weren't just handing out free cash for houses or vacations. They always said they worked hard to save and once they retired, they were going to enjoy their lives, travel, and spend their money on themselves. They even said we shouldn't expect much of an inheritance because they intended to really enjoy the last part of their lives. To me, that always seemed fair. Now I took their offer to heart. I got my degree in electrical engineering, later got my MBA, and I'm doing well now. I'm married to an attorney, and between us, we've built a good life. My parents' plan worked out for me. But Sarah? Not so much. After high school, instead of taking them up on the college offer, she decided she wanted to travel and find herself. She asked our parents for the money to fund her trips, but they stuck to their word and said no. They told her she was 18 and could earn her own money for that. She didn't like that and went no contact with all of us for a few years. She popped back into our lives around three years ago. We've been cordial, but we're not close. About two years ago, she asked our parents for money to put down on a house because she was tired of renting. Once again, they refused and reminded her that they'd still pay for her education if she wanted to go back to school, but they weren't handing out cash for anything else. Sarah came to me, complaining about how unfair they were being, but I was on their side. I told her the college offer was still there, and it wasn't too late to get a degree and a better paying job. She didn't like my answer, so she distanced herself from me after that. Fast forward to now. Next year, our grandparents are celebrating a major anniversary in another country. My family, me, my wife, and our two kids, and my parents are planning to go, along with relatives from all over. It's a huge event, but it's not cheap, around $20,000, and for the four of us, when you factor in plane tickets, hotels, and other costs. Sarah, who's married but doesn't have kids, can't afford the trip, so she asked our parents to pay for her and her husband to attend. Once again, they said no, but reiterated they'd still pay for her education if she wanted it. Sarah lost it and blew up at them. She then called me, complaining about how she's living in a crappy apartment, driving barely working cars and has no savings, and how our parents won't help. That's when I told her straight up, she made her choices and she's responsible for where she is in life. I reminded her again that our parents are incredibly generous to still offer to pay for her college, but that doesn't seem to be what she wants. After that, she hung up on me, and I think we're heading back to no contact again. I wanted to clear up a few things that seemed to be coming up a lot. Growing up, we weren't wealthy. We were solidly middle class. Our dad worked seven days a week, 12 hours a day to make his business work. They always drove used cars until they were too expensive to fix, and only a couple of years ago did my dad finally buy my mom their first brand new car for their anniversary, a Toyota Camry. We were never a 1% family. As for my sister, she doesn't have any learning disabilities, and she was a decent student in school, a solid B student, nothing special but definitely capable. No one's brought up trade school, so I'm not sure if that's something she'd consider or if our parents would support it. But my dad, being a small business owner, always valued making your own way. A couple of years ago, he even offered Sarah money to start her own business. He told her to create a business plan and pitch it to the bank, and if the bank was willing to loan her money, he'd match the loan interest-free. She never followed through on it. Sarah is not a bad person. She's actually pretty normal. The issue is, she's always had a rebellious streak and would do the opposite of what people advised just to get a reaction. It was kind of cute when she was a teenager, but now, in her 30s, it hasn't really served her well. As for the trip, it's expensive because it's to the other side of the world and will take place during peak tourist season, meaning plane tickets are around $2,500 and per person. Factor in hotels, food and rental cars, and it quickly adds up. And for those curious, while my wife is a great attorney, we're not living in some lavish lifestyle. 
She's not the type of lawyer you see on TV with private jets and million-dollar homes. We live comfortably, but we're not super rich. She also drives a Camry, just like my mom. Featured Comment Participant 1 Like, they are still offering to help her in a tremendous and meaningful way. A full ride through grad school would radically change her life. Participant 2 Not everyone excels in college. She could take the money, go to college and leave with an expensive art degree, and still be exactly where she started. Up and his parents are NTA, but I'm curious if something more like a trade school would benefit the sister. There are other schooling options than four-year degree in grad school that could help. Participant 3 It doesn't sound like she's tried to negotiate anything about schooling. I would interpret paying for a four-year degree in grad school as willing to pay for education and at least ask if going to tech was on the table. Participant 4 yeah, given the parents' stance on schooling, I get the feeling they would gladly pay for a trade school or equivalent kind or training. It seems to be about setting her up with skills to get a job that can support her. I don't see them saying no if she asked them to pay for beauty school or electrician training or something like that. Participant 5 Their whole plan was to set up their kids for life so they wouldn't be hounded for money. How ironic. Participant 6 I don't know it seems like we're being given the absolute bare bones of the overall situation. Maybe she did try to negotiate for a different arrangement. Maybe she simply isn't academically inclined whatsoever. Maybe she wanted to do a particular degree that the parents disagreed with and refused to fund. Going NC from the entire family for 12 years over this one thing seems extreme, which suggests that there was actually a lot more going on than op as put in the post possibly more than Op is aware of. Edit. Look, I get it. She may well just be an entitled bratty person. But if IITA has shown us anything, it's that when the Op only gives the very barest of details, it's often because more context would show that the situation clearly isn't how they've described it and they're deliberately trying to skew the judgment. Participant 7 I mean, you're making some big assumptions there. She could just be a petty person and not bother with her family because they don't do what she wants. My brother is just like this, only ever contacts you when he wants something and other than that will never reply. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.